guys, home workout with your online trainer, Lucy and Reed. It's my seven minute belly fat workout. And in this workout, I'm gonna be telling you safe ways on how to lose belly fat. So I've got seven moves for you, 60 seconds each move, and it is a seven day challenge. And this is all about losing what we refer to as active fat. So that is excess belly fat, because remember, it is really important that we do have some belly fat, we need that. So this is all about doing it the healthy and the safe way. So what I would say, if you haven't already done a warm up, march on the spot for 30 seconds. And when you're ready, I'm ready to start training you today. So for the first move, extend both arms above your head and draw one knee up and just alternate from one knee to the other. We're gonna do this for a duration of 60 seconds. Keep your back nice and straight, tummy muscles pulled in. So what this is doing, we are doing what I call cardio standing abs. So I'm increasing your calorie burn, but we're still sculpting and working through those core muscles. And what I want to do is I want to be reducing any visceral fat, also known as active fat. Now this is abdominal belly fat that sits in our abdominal cavity and it can be stored around internal organs. This is why it's really important for health that we reduce any excess of belly fat. All right, so just keep going. Give me another 25 seconds from now. Now I've created you this tick chart that you can see here and it has other information on how to reduce a belly fat the healthy way. This you can get in the description in the link below. You can just click on that. Right, let's go for the next 10 seconds. So we've just got seven moves today, no repeat all standing up this workout's going to fly by and let's go last three take it two and one okay so for move number two come into a split stance take one leg behind and now just imagine you're about to sprint so you draw that knee up and then you take it back so we're going to do 30 seconds one side then 30 on the other all right so let's just keep going so this one is really great as well for your cardio but we're also getting that calorie burn up so we're just driving that up supporting these stay slightly bent that's good and this is so more effective than doing planks and sit-ups standing abs are the best ways to really help reduce belly fat all right let's just keep that going that's good then when we get halfway we're just going to change and take that to the opposite leg so we're driving that knee up tummy stays tight that's good and let's go two and one just change take that opposite leg behind for me and now get ready drive that up that's good so i'm just showing you from the side keep that going well done. And this challenge, I want you to do this just seven minutes and just do it for the next seven days. The other thing, what I love with this challenge, it's going to help with your heart health, your mental health. It's going to get you in great shape. And what I would say is if you can do it in the morning, that way you've then got it done. All right, let's go last three. Let's take it two and one. All right. So for move number three, this time, take your arms up and now you're gonna take one leg behind. So you're just stepping that foot behind and imagine you're pulling down a big sheet of, I don't know, wallpaper on here. Really use control with those arms. And what I'm specifically doing here is this is incredible for really shaping that waist. So we're really working your internal and external obliques. And because we're adding in the arm movement, I'm gonna increase your calorie burn. So we're just burning off more calories, which is just gonna help overall reduce excess body fat. That's good. So let's just keep that going. Well done. And here we're really then working into those abdominals. Nice control. Keep that going. So you've got less than 30 seconds. So today's workout is going to fly by. And of course, the benefit for this is we're also working your joint health, your bone health, your mental health, your heart health. All right, that's good. And we've now got those last 15 seconds from now. So just keep that going and get ready for those last 10 seconds. And remember, if you're wanting to reduce excess belly fat, that active belly fat. It's all about healthy eating, portion size as well. All right, so for move number four, this time now, what I want you to do is you're going to just punch your arms in front and then we're going to go four straight leg kicks. So we're going to alternate four of each. So give me four power punches and then four straight leg kicks and just keep alternating for a duration of 60 seconds. So when you're doing those punches, really make sure that you keep your knees slightly bent. And also when you're doing these punches, really important that you keep those hips still because what happens then is it really works into those oblique muscles. So those side waist muscles. All right, that's good. Just keep that going, alternating from one to the other. And then we're straight on to move five. So this workout is going to fly by. And remember, if you can do it for seven days, because it is consistency that gets us those results. 
and these exercises are all safe and they do so much more than just work the abs they are burning calories increasing your energy levels all right that's good let's get ready now for those last 15 seconds on move four adding those power punches then those straight leg kicks keep those abdominal muscles nice and tight and let's just get ready for last five take it four go three two and one okay so for move number five this time now we're just going to take two knee crunches from one side to the other so we're just going to keep alternating doing this for a duration of 60 seconds so so many people think if they want to work their abs they need to come down onto the floor to do the plank and crunches and actually by doing this sort of exercise is perfect because what we're doing we're using your arms and legs as levers and what this does is it just means your core your abdominal muscles are having to work harder they they're working a bit like an anchor, all right, so they're holding you in place. This is why standing abs is so effective. All right, that's good. Let's just keep that going. And we work so many more muscle groups. These are all about working multi-compound moves. That's why I can get you amazing results in just seven minutes a day. All right, keeping that going. That's good. Nice control. So it's double knee and alternate from one side to the other. And then we've nearly finished. We've just got two moves left after this. So let's just keep going. I'll count you down from those last five. So let's get ready and take it five, four, go three and two and one. All right, well done. So for move number six, this time now, what we're gonna do is you're gonna swing your arms from one side to the other and then toe tap. So you're taking that toe in front so what we're doing here is this is now, again, really working specifically the internal and external oblique. So they're those side waist muscles. And really point that foot slightly over the line of the other one. Take those arms up and over. So this, again, here is where we're really working through that midsection. And this will also get your heart rate up. It will work on your bone health, your joint health, your mental health, your heart health, absolutely everything. All right, you've got 30 seconds left to go good nice control and work through that fullest range of motion and just think about your working so your abdominals are the powerhouse here with this move so even though we're using the arms and the legs the control is coming from your transverse abdominus that's your deepest abdominal core muscle all right that's good and let's just keep going well done so it's that muscle that's holding you in place so it's working what we call stabilization and two and one so for move number seven this time now you're going to come with your feet nice and wide knees slightly bent and we're going to go from one side to the other so you just go one side and then what we're going to do now take your arms in front and just imagine you're doing a high five either side four four then take it back to the center reach down and side and then four on each move and then coming back. So what I've done today is I'm pretty much going straight from one move to the other. I'm giving you very little rest time, but this is where we're gonna get results. And because you're gonna be doing this for the next seven days, these moves will become really familiar. So you'll very quickly be able to go from one transition, one move to the other. All right, that's good. So we're nearly done. Let's just keep going on there. Take it back now to those high fives. Well done and then give me four more of those side reaches. That's good, we've just got 15 seconds left of training today. So definitely let me know on social media how you're getting on and why not set up a WhatsApp group with some of your friends, get them to do it, or even set up a Facebook group doing this challenge. And guess what, you are done. So here's your high five, well done for doing that. What I want you to do now is just march on the spot for me for about 30 seconds. Let's get your heart rate back down challenging you to do this for the next seven days. When you come back and do it tomorrow, you don't have to have my voice. You could put on your favorite song. That might be really motivating, but whatever you do, definitely do this for the next seven days. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, hit subscribe. And then what I want you to do now at the end of the video is come and do a little cool down stretch with me now.